feel of it today. It's about two three. <laughs> but we're here. This is the original Bullnose Morris, which started here in Oxford. Well, this one actually started from Canterbury early this morning. Broke down in Swindon and we pushed it all the way. But we're here. And if you want the proof... <laughs> Further, what school are you from? Right, and today is April the first. The first of April, some do say. Goodness, it's set aside for All Fools' Day. Though why the people call it so, nor I, nor they themselves do know. And I'll come. It is April Fools' Day. You're not going to catch me today. There's no truth in the rumour that today is mastermind and I'm Anita Harris. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Doesn't mean we can't have a bit of fun and fool around for the next half hour. If I ask you the name of these brilliant musicians... <laughs> you're going to meet an incredible fella later on, the amazing Wilfred Makepeace Lunn. Yeah. And right now I'd like you to give a big cheer for Dana. On the show, Dana. Thank you very much. Isn't it lovely to be here on a Sunday by the sea? Today's a Saturday and we're about at least 70 miles from the sea. Oh, you can't catch me, it's after 12. <laughs> Sunday morning, wake up yawn and have a cup of tea. Get the car out, let's take Ma out, we can have a spree. Wake the pub up, get the grub up, bring a crate for me. And when we've got the whole lot packed, we'll shove that fish and tackle in the back and tear off down the open road at 14 miles an hour. All the traffic piling up, cool, oh, blimey, what a shout. It's swerving, breaking, overtaking, what a liberty. But I wouldn't miss the Sunday by the sea. There's lovely peaches on the beaches, stretched out in the sun. Costumes slipping to the birds, all dripping and splashing everyone. Paddling, boating, swimming, floating, what a lot of fun. If there's a maid in distress, I'll be the first to see her SOS. So save yourself a deck chair while you have a little doze. Read the Sunday papers while the sand slips through your toes. Ice cream trolleys, kids with lollies, happy as can be. Oh, I wouldn't miss the Sunday by the sea. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. To be beside the sea. Oh, I do we like to stroll along the pump, 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 where the brown band plays in the young pump, pump. Do you like to be beside the sea? I'm clean beside the shelf of me. There are lots of girls beside, I would like to be beside, beside the sea. Piles of glitter and the winds turn bitter and the seas all get it rough. Burning blisters, loud transistors, and if that's not enough. Now it's raining, who's complaining? Pack up all the stuff and when we're halfway back to town, we start to feel the fun times going down. So get the spare out there, your hair out, looking for the jack. Kick it, pump it, back it, pump it, trying to get it back. And by the time we get back home, we find we've missed TV. Is it worth it? Just a minute, no, is it worth it? information for you. Our brass band sat behind the bandstand there. Would you like to come out and play us a bit really? Play some actual music. Give them a burst of applause while they come out. That's Emma there. And this is Nicky. Emma's brother Robin. Are you the boss Robin? Right, lick the end of that thing, get it all organised and count us in. Thank <laughs> you. 
back the ball to the service. That's good. Terrific. The pity he hadn't recorded that we could have got our disc jockey to play it for you. Still, right over to our disc jockeys now. A big cheer for the disc jockeys. I'd love to be a DJ and be seen upon the box. I know they've got a night and girl, but can't they be Claire Cox? Do I look like Terry Wogan, or am I just too young? And where was Andrew Barlow when the floral dance was sung? I played the discs of Decker of Philip San Fontana, but now Mark Coyle and me and Claire can all say, Here is Anna! <laughs> machine and all the artwork's been done by these magnificent kids on the drawing for board. It's the sort of close encounters of the third form actually. Uh, I'll turn my ears out like this so I can hear what I'm saying. Uh, ready to take off? Yeah. yeah. Those magnificent men in their flying machine they go up till the up top, they go down till the up down, they enchant all the ladies and steal all the scenes where they're up till the up top and they're down till the up down. Up and down, flying around, looking at the earth and defying the ground. Then all the brightest and keys, those magnificent men in their flying machine, they can fly up by down with their feet in the air. They don't think of danger. Young men and the chances they take. 
going to catch that cannonball in my teeth. The gunpowder is already in. I put the cannonball in like so. I need a target. Right, roll. Can you can you light the fuse? This is the fuse, is it? That's the fuse, yeah. This is fairly dangerous, eh? It is. and I need that right glue to start with. Are you still a bit funny in the ears? No. Mm -hmm. Let's get on with the painting for you, Frankie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Splunge to the line. A little bit there. <laughs> in Australia, in a part of Australia, have you heard of Canberra? The capital of Australia? The federal capital of Australia? Well, over near Canberra, there's a lot of country which is under permanent snow. A lot of people don't know that. There's actually more snow in Australia than there is in the, the whole of Switzerland. And there are a lot of towns like places like Threadbo where they have skiing and places like Guthagar and little towns like Island Bend. Lovely names, aren't they? And all that part of Australia, the snowy mountains, that's called the snow country. And this song was written by a young school teacher called Barbara Spate. And she wrote this song about a time when they were building a scheme called the Snowy Mountain Scheme. And that was, they were turning a river around, the Snowy River, and they took the river and completely turned it around, dug a big hole right through the mountainside. And the, did that get on you? No. That's a relief. Oh, boom, boom, boom. That'll do. Swap your... Can I grab that blue? That's it. Take that one. Good girl. Quick burst of applause. What's your name? Alison. Beautifully handled there, Alison. Now, we'll put a bit of snow on here. What was I telling you about? Can you remember? The Snowy Mountain, that's it. They took the Snowy Mountain, the uh, Snowy River, and they turned it right round, and they ran it down through this huge tunnel, and they made a hydroelectric scheme so that it came out the other side and drove a huge generator to make electricity. And all this time, there were hundreds upon hundreds of workers actually living up in the snow country, and they were in tents and right up living out in the snow, and then one link with the mailman, he used to come once a week, and his base town was a little town called Jindabyne, good name, isn't that? say it for me, Jindabyne, good, you could almost eat it, couldn't you, Jindabyne, I've forgotten a couple of fence posts, we need a bit of perspective in there, and those fence posts coming down like that, perhaps we can do a couple across there, and there's a hole there, don't know why they had the fence, all the horses could run through there, what a pest. 
No, across there. Do you recognise that bit in the middle there? House, yeah. Yes, it's no across there. A bit more there. Mm -hmm. Now then, he's got the black. Yeah. Do a big fence post here. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Another one there. And a little bit of a, a wire bit to another post there. And uh, a big gum tree, shall we do here? Mm -hmm. I need that chair, I think, in a minute. Could you get it for me? Could you stand aside and we can put that chair in there? We do. A little bit more. That's it. Chop the chair down there, because I want to get up and do the gum leaves right on the top. Thank you. That look like a tree? Just a minute. There's a beetle there having a sleep on the corner. There you go. Now we need some more snow, but it's in a white snow. Right down the front. Put some on the top of that. Sit on there on the hedge. That's good. What's the matter with you? Beautiful snow. Been a lot of comments. Snow caught in that bit of that gum tree there in the snow gum. When it gets an awful lot of snow on, it piles on top of those leaves and they bend right over and they look almost like willow trees. Oops. <laughs> close, close. I will not get you yet. I think that's about it, eh? I need a couple of little stars up there. I'll just put one or two up in the sky there. King. Is that enough stars? Seven more. That'll do it. Stars of the snow country A large and blazing white Stars of the snow country Are very close tonight The star to shine, a lantern in a window as I pass through Jindabai. A lantern in the window when I pass through Jindabai. Snowflakes swirl and glisten, held in the headlamp's ray. My vision jump and grow and fade away. Snow gum bent like willow beneath their load of white. And I must forget the mail train while the road is still inside. Gustagar and Island Bend seem like years ago. On reach above me, the campsite fires glow. They'll read their mail by lands of light and give me hot spice wine. Stars of the snow country guide me back to Chindabai.
about putting the light in the window. I'm glad I remembered it in the middle there. Would you like to hear Dana again? Yeah. Right, here she is, Dana. Big cheer for Dana.
week. I'm lost again. Oh, tell them that we're going to take the underground to Portsmouth. Right. We're going to take the underground to Portsmouth. Again. Listen, even if we don't take the underground, we're definitely going to be in for next week. So from Oxford, it's goodbye. Bye now. Hey, 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 hey. The children of Alexandra Middle School, Portsmouth, will be hoping on Harrison next Saturday at 6.50.